Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How's everybody doing? How are you today? Um, good. Good? Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Something exciting that you did today? Um, in my case, I I have a mini uh, meeting. Uh huh. And yeah, one was was good. Okay, perfect. What about you, Diego? Something well you did today? Uh, maybe I try to pre prepare all the meetings in my in my with the office uh -huh. uh, because uh, we are going to 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 give a, a webinar okay about tax in El okay. Salvador yes and yeah and well I try to prepare all the things that uh, uh, diapositivas yeah uh, presentations presentations and, and try to do all the the uh, well with the tratar de mandar las publicaciones try to send the publication yes mm -hmm. uh, for all the people and try to 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 receive the 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 las Confirmation. The, the confirmation. Yeah. Confirmation. Yes. yes. Sorry. <laughs> Excellent. Good job. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Good job. Well, I today I cut the grass, so I I have two much two machines for cutting grass, and mm -hmm. uh, I I was cutting the grass today. <laughs> so I did uh my grass, my my garden, and I did my neighbor's garden. So, really? Yeah, and you know how much? Yes, and and they pay me. Good they pay ball. me. <laughs> so I, I I made some money. <laughs> yeah. Extra money. <laughs> yeah, extra money. Perfect. All right, good job. Okay, so we're gonna start uh, today. We this is our uh, our last week together, right? But I think we're going to continue, so don't worry, right? Uh, we're going to continue to the next module and the next module and that's that's the road right that's the road to success right that we're taking so we're going to finish thursday uh I, you should have the platform finished by thursday so deberían todos de estar ya por las cinco ¿eh? section I, I, uh, I only have to finish the the last the section number four point nine I, I don't know if okay all right no problem today today we're going to see it today we're going to do let me see uh measure measurement and it, it, that's what we're going to do today okay okay so let's go to Teacher, the yes tell me only one thing uh, I I don't know say todavía no me inscrito <laughs> no uh, you haven't uh subscribed yes not yet why what happened i have a problem with my computer and i forget the time oh okay no you have to you today uh tonight send a message to jonathan okay tell him that you had a problem with your computer whatever excuses <laughs> that you're going to give him <laughs> and send okay. it to him and send it to him today everything okay and in email and whatsapp como quieran ellos verdad i think i think el formulario creo que mejor por email but uh okay. send them and then send him a message jonathan guzman okay okay thank you all right okay a uh, 4.10 press and continue no 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 this is the <laughs> this is the other class ah. <laughs> no this is the the previous class okay so, uh, English, pre-intermedio, modulo tres. This is where we're at. We are going to do today section 4.10. It talks about distance and measurement. So, uh, we're going to finish section four today. We're going to do 4.10. And 
4.12. So let's look at this video. And she's going to do a, this, she's going to talk about distance and measurements. After this video, I'm going to give you a presentation and then we're going to do an activity, okay? Okay. Okay. Very mountainous. Really? How high? Hi, I want you to play the audio program and listen to the conversation. What are they talking about? Pay close attention. Listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Did you? And Auckland is about... Okay, very good. In this section, they're talking about uh, distance and, and measurements. Did you see the questions? For example, here, we have the question. Uh, here, how high are the mountains? How high are the mountains? So she's talking about the length of the mountains. Another question that you see here is, how far is New Zealand from Australia? How far is New Zealand for, from Australia? So this one, they're talking about measurement. Que tan alto? Measurement. And this one, the second question, they're talking about distance. Distance can be measured in miles or kilometers. Kilometers. Yes, here we use kilometers. In the United States, they use miles. And then, casi en todo el mundo, casi se usa kilometers. Eh, tal vez hay otros países que usan el sistema americano. So, Americans use miles. Uh, everybody else, they, we usually use kilometers. Okay? So, when you say far, que tan lejos, you're talking about distance. How high, you're talking about measurement, okay? Measurement, all right, very good. Questions for this section? Okay, we're going to do some practice for this. So let me show you a presentation I have. Porque a mí siempre me gusta expandir la lección, ¿verdad? Tomar eso, pero hacer otras actividades. Okay, so let me show you my presentation that I have for you. Let me see. No. Let, me, let me get it. Uh, like that. Distance and measurement. I want to show you this presentation and then we're going to talk about it. Okay. So this is the same story. Ya la vimos, right? We notice the questions. How high? How far? How high is for measurement? How far is for distance? Okay. So when you want to ask somebody about distance and measurement, you can also use how long, how much, okay? How long can be distance or it can be for time, okay? How much can be for quantity, okay? All right. Eh, Aquí encontramos las, las preguntas, right? How far, how high? All right, so here's a question that maybe 
You've seen this mountain before? How high is Mount Everest? So the answer is Mount Everest is 29, ¿cómo se dice este número? 29, how do you say this number? 1,000. 29,000. 1,000, 29. 29, very good. 29,029 feet. Ahora estamos usando eh, American, American measurements, ¿ok? Eh, se, perdón, sería bueno que, que también ustedes pudieran un poquito, firma, eh, por lo menos conocer un poquito el sistema americano, por si acaso eh, hablan con un americano un día. Eh, es bien, eh, los americanos no entienden un kilómetro. <risa> Ellos no entienden un metro. <laughs> oh. No, right? So, tal vez por experiencia tú, tú le has dicho a alguien. Eh, ¿Cuánto mide usted? Eh, yo, un metro setenta y dos. Americans are like, ah, huh? we don't, I don't understand. Okay. On feet? Only feet. Yes, they understand only feet. Feet. So, approximately, approximately one meter Llega casi como a tres pies, por ahí. ¿Ok? Yes. Tres pies es una yarda, y una yarda y un metro es casi similar. Ok, very good. Uh, this, is the, this is a question, right? So aquí simplemente le puedes cambiar y decir how high is anything else, right? Can you think of a question? ¿Podrían ustedes con how high hacer una pregunta? Can you do a question with how high? Talk about anything. Um, how high is Pikachu? Is uh, Pikachu Mountain? How high is uh, oh, Pital Mountain? Pital, Pital Mountain here in El Salvador, right? How high is the Isalco volcano? Very good. How high is the Isalco volcano? Excellent. Okay, very good. So, how do you do these type of questions? Right, porque vamos a tomar la que, la que aprendimos en el video, how far and how high, but now we're going to expand it. So, the structure is the following. Vamos a usar how plus adjective plus verb to be in complement. For example, how high is Mount Everest? ¿Cuál es el adjetivo high? The, uh, here's some other information if you want to know. Entonces, ¿cuánto es en metros? 29,000 to 29 feet. In meters, 8,000. ¿Cómo se dice este, este número? How do you say this? 8,000. 848. Yes. 48. Exactly. 8,848. Okay. Now, you can say like this. 8,000 and 848. Puedes agregar ese and. Okay. No es obligatorio. No está malo. No está bueno. I mean, it's just something that you can use. All right. Very good. So, how these questions that we're going to do, y esta es la lección en el video 412, is that you can use how plus adjective to talk about distance, measurement, descriptions, and conditions. So, let's look at some examples. Okay. Here we have some examples. Eh, perdón que así se ve en el video también un poquito. So you can say when you talk about distance, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Can you change that? Can you give me an example with how far? How, how far is the East San Salvador from Union? Okay, very good. How far is San Salvador? From, from Union. 
Okay, very good. Next one is we can talk about the, the measurement of something. How big, okay? How big is Singapore? When usually when we talk about countries, we talk about square meters. Repeat, square, no, vamos a kilometers. Square kilometers. Square kilometers. Kilometers cuadrados, right? Square kilometers. Square kilometers. You can change it, right? Ahí pueden poner square feet, square meters, square kilometer. Uh, you can also say square apple, manzana, <laughs> distance, uh, yeah. right? Okay, very good. Um, so the next one is you can say how high. How high is Mount Cook? How high is Colorado Mountain? How high is another place? Tell me another place. Mm. Machu Picchu, right? Machu Picchu <laughs> in in uh, in Peru. Uh, what else? How high is a, the tower that fell? The tower that fell. Oh, exactly. Like the twin towers, the one that was no. attacked. Attack. No, no, no. Uh, the Paris. Ah, Eiffel. F Eiffel. Eiffel. Yes, okay. yes. How high is the Eiffel Tower? Very good. Okay, how deep? What is deep? Get it, see deep. Profundidad. Yes. So tell me a question. With, ask a how question deep with. is the Ilopango Lake? Very good. How deep is the Ilopango Lake? Excellent. What else? How deep? How deep is your pool? Yes, very good. How deep is your pool? Right? You can say uh, two meters, three meters. Okay. The next one is the temperature of something. How hot is Auckland in the summer? No sé dónde queda Auckland. Me imagino que en Australia summer. But you can say how hot is Arizona in the summer? How hot is San Miguel in the summer, right? Another, ah, I remember also, Americans use Fahrenheit. Otro sistema de temperatura. <laughs> they use Fahrenheit. We use Celsius. Just remember. Do you see here? ¿Quién puede convertir Celsius to Fahrenheit? ¿Quién puede convertir? Más o menos. Si habla con un americano y le dice, eh, te preguntan, de hecho a mí me preguntaron en un grupo en Facebook, ¿qué temperatura tiene El Salvador en, en Ataco, a Huachapán? No le podía decir al americano 23 degrees Celsius because he doesn't understand. So I have to tell him Fahrenheit. ¿Quién puede hacer esa conversión? ¿Alguien, ¿Alguien la ha hecho en el pasado? No. ¿No? Ok, les voy a dar una, una clave. 23 es Celsius. Uh -huh. Agréguele 50. Sumen 50. ¿Sería cuánto? Okay. Uh, 73. No, 73. 73, ajá, 23 más 50. Y mire lo que es en Fahrenheit, 74. 74. Eso es casi igual. Ok. But then, in another. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So. Es yeah, más fácil example. que la fórmula. ¿eh? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, la la fórmula es más, más complicada. I, sí, I por just 1. say. 1.8 más 32. Ajá, uh -huh, it's like exactly the perfect, right? No, yo digo solo 50. I add 50. Y casi siempre me da. It's the best. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. The next one is temperature. How cold? How cold is the pital in December? 
It is very cold. Ok, very good. So, ustedes ahora van a hacer una práctica. But, eh, give me the answer. Eh, Diego, can you see? Can you read this question? Can you give me the answer? Yeah, uh, how tall are you? Uh, my... So I am... I am, yes. Mm -hmm. I am... Uh, one meter, one point seventy six uh, meters. A uh, one meter and seventy six cent centimeters. Centimeter, yeah. <laughs> All right, good job. And uh, in feet, do you know? No. <laughs> oh, no, no. Tendría que hacer la, 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 la conversion. Yeah. Okay. Maybe feet. Like, okay. like uh, five feet, five, seven, five, yeah. that's what I... Something like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, very good, but it's good. It's good that you know. So you five say... Five feet. Mm-hmm. Five feet, five point seventy seven feet. Okay, so it's it's five I have, feet I have a question. and seven inches. Five feet, seven inches. Ah, okay. Es que ellos usan pulgadas. Okay. Siete pies, una pul siete yeah. pies. Eh, cinco pies, siete pulgadas. Eh, five feet, question. seven inches. Yes, Marco. Uh, what's the difference uh, between point and dot? Uh, normally, when numbers like uh, money measurement, distance, uh, usamos point. Dot is more for, for writing, cuando estás escribiendo letras, eh, palabras. Yes, so no, normally, yo así lo uso. Okay. okay, gracias. Very good. Okay, next question. Uh, let's see, who do we have here? Uh, Gladys, are you there? Can you see this question? Uh, my my country is very tall. How big is your country? Do you know how many kilometers, square kilometers? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Yo tampoco, so don't worry. It's okay. It's I don't know. Uh, huh? Somebody? 25,000. 25,000 kilometers. Square kilometer, square kilometers. Ah, thank you, Alexis. Very good. 25,000 okay. square kilometers. Very good. Okay, so here, what, were you, what you're going to do is, uh, you're going to do an activity. We're going to go into groups. So, en los grupos, quiero que me investiguen. Y quiero que me escriban las preguntas y las respuestas usando la, la estructura. How far, how big, how tall. Eh, the tallest building. Búsqueme el tallest building. Tallest person. Tallest per, the tallest person ever. Entonces van a tener que hacer ahí una, un Google search. Distance from New York to California. Distance from Washington State to the Florida Keys. De un extremo al otro extremo del país. Deepest part of the ocean. Okay? So you're going to have to do some Google search. Eh, quiero que me hagan la pregunta. How far, how big, how deep, how tall, how... And then give me the answer in measurement. All right, very good. Questions? Ya, ya le va a pasar esto. Questions? No? All right, we're going to go into groups. So let's go, let's divide in groups. Y vamos a hacer simplemente trabajo de grupo, ¿verdad? Alguien puede escribir, alguien puede compartir, alguien puede hacer el, la búsqueda de información. All right, very good. So let's go into groups of four. Four people.
Hi. Hello, Bessie, are you there? Hello, hello. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Uh, Diego, okay, I can hear you. Very hello. Well. Hello, okay. Bessie, how are you? I am here, fine, thank you. Okay, so. Uh, no problem with my microphone. <laughs> ah, you were on mute. Okay, no yeah. problem. Did you see the presentation? Yes, yes. I, I take a picture of the presentation. Okay, and we very have good. The, uh, the questions right over here and what's up, right? Okay, yes. Yeah. So you have to investigate the tallest person. So try to give me the question. Como, como, como preguntaran por esa información? And then give me the answer, okay? So we can so, use the with WH questions. Yes, how far, how tall, how big. Just, how, with, just with how? Or, for example, we can use what is the tallest uh, building, building. The, for example. Uh, no, try to use the, es que si tú preguntas, what is the tallest building? Entonces mm -hmm. te voy a dar solamente el nombre del building. Okay. Uh, uh -huh, for, for example. And we have to give a, a, a ex, uh, information about the, the tallest yes. uh, building. Yes, so if you say WH, la palabra what, mm -hmm. entonces what solo estás what? pidiendo el nombre. Pero uh -huh. si, pedi, si preguntas how tall, ahora estás mm -hmm. pidiendo números. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So yes, do, do how far, how tall, how big. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, so... How tall is? <clears throat> I'm sorry. Burj, Burj Khalifa. No worry. So, ¿cómo hicieron la pregunta? You uh, we have two ways. Mm -hmm. The first one is how tall is Burj Khalifa, or mm -hmm. how tall is the tallest building? Okay. Yeah. So maybe how tall? Yeah, how tall is the tallest building in the world? Yes. And the second one, I don't know. Tall, tallest person ever. So when I say ever, puede ser en el pasado también, past or present. Okay. The tallest person. Oh. Okay. If you want, you can write the. Um, the second one. The second one is uh, the tallest person ever. Okay, confundido. No, es lo que quiere. Que usemos es el ese es en este caso how, how high. Ajá. Ajá. E, está bien ahí como, como va, está bien, excelente. How okay. high? How high? Um, in this case, the the tallest. Yeah, in this case, eh, I find the the, the big. Eh, Edificio. The tallest. So you have to tallest. use tall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tallest. Is the Burja Khalifa. ¿Cómo se lo pongo aquí? Quiero verificar. <laughs> se lo envío ahorita ahí. O dejo de compartir pantalla y comparta la suya. No, excelente. No, ahorita, ahorita se lo... Se lo, se lo. Eh, how to... Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, in number two, we only have to use the name of the of the subject or escribir como el, en la número no, dos. That's okay, that's okay. Yo sé que es, es, está un poco, es, pueda que se vea un poco repetitivo, eh, eh, como que se está repitiendo, perdón. Pero este está bien. Uh, how tall is the tallest person ever? That's good. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. How far? Yes. Now here, number one, Veronica, you can say yes. how high is the tallest building in the world? Y en la respuesta me das el nombre ese. Carl ah, okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yes, very good. Okay. Sería, it is... The tallest building in the world is... It is the tallest building in the world is Ah, perdón. Okay, okay. Sorry, sir. Le quito el puzzle del final. Ajá. Y puedes hacer una segunda oración. Diciendo que so the tallest building in the world is Burj Khalifa. It is how tall is it? It is about uh, William. <laughs> you know oh, the yeah. answer. <laughs> how to, how high is this building? sería a hundred. 28 meter. Okay, very good. 828 in Spanish. 828 meters. And then at the end, put high. La palabra high al final, el adjetivo okay. high. Mm -hmm. high. It's about 828 meters high. Yes, very good. Okay. Teacher, ¿Ah? tall is qué significa esa palabra? Tall es altura. Um, mira, entre high y tall hay varios usos. Eh, normalmente cuando hablamos de, de una persona y le preguntas cuánto mide, how tall are you? When you talk about talk about an object, you say hi. La segunda pregunta estaría bien así. How tall is the tallest person ever? Yes, you can say that. That's fine. And then in the answer, you're going to say the tallest person ever is. No, no sé si encontraron algún nombre. Esa puede variar, esa pregunta, porque hay algunos récords y otros récords oficiales de quiénes. Algunos récords no reconocidos también. Es Ajá, sí, exacto, sí, posiblemente. Creo que van a encontrar el Guinness World Record del libro Guinness. Okay. Eso, 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 eso al final de cuentas a todos nos va a costar, a mí me cuesta un montón también. Okay. How old is the tallest person ever? Or uh, maybe how rich? How rich is the tallest person ever? No, you can say tall, aunque, sea, aunque la repita dos veces la palabra tall. Mm. That's okay. Oh. How tall is the tallest person ever? Because okay. estamos usando un superlativo, right? The tallest person mm. ever. Okay. Okay. How tall? And for example, with the number one, uh, is the how high is the tallest tallest building in the world? This mm -hmm. is the question. But yes. the answer is the tallest building in the world is Burk Khalifa of Dubai in Dubai. Yes. ¿Y cuánto mide? It is. Uh, mm. uh, it is. Uh, I will say uh, it is eight eight hundred twenty-eight meters divided. 
across 163 floors. Okay, so put 800, it is 829 meters high. Okay. Or tall. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. The tallest yeah. building in the world, it is, it is uh, 800. 800. 800, 800, 828 uh -huh. meters. 28 meters. Y al final yes. le pones... No, lo que podrías hacer es hacer dos oraciones separadas. Uh -huh. The tallest building in the world is... La primera oración como tú la tenías, decía el nombre. Y la segunda oración que tú vas a hacer va... va it is, for example, it is... Ajá. Uh -huh. And here, uh -huh. it is... 828 it, it is meters. 800 meters. Uh -huh. Meters. Y después pone la, el adjetivo que estás usando ahí es tall. So you can say it is 828 meters tall or high. Tall or high. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Yes, that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, how tall is the tallest person? The tallest person? Ever. Ever. The tallest that, mean, ever. that means past history uh -huh. and, and, and yes. present. Past and present. The tallest person. Person. Ever is uh, Robert Persing. Okay. Uh, the it is it the same with the the the, the first one it is he is he, person, right person he, he, tallest person ever is Robert Robert Persing Persing like yeah oh, I I read it. Persian. Yeah. I didn't see that you sent me the the description. Yeah. Uh, comma. And it is two point seventy two meters. Seventy two meters tall. Yeah. Tall. Uh, usarías he or it? Ah, he, yes. He is. Sorry. He is right. Yes. Mm -hmm. He is true. He was. Like that. <laughs> he oh, was. Okay. Si, si ya murió, entonces was. <laughs> he was. Okay. Sorry. No worry. Next one is about the distance from New York to California. Distance. 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 From New York California. to California, to California. Okay. How long? Uh, two, two thousand no. Two thousand nine 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 hundred miles. Okay. Entonces, si hacemos fácil esta, how long is the distance from New York to night? Uh huh. Okay. And we are going to answer uh, the this the distance the distance from to from New York to California is two nine zero zero miles. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 2,900 million me, miles. Miles. Uh-huh. Next one. Next one. Okay. okay. Distant Washington State from Florida. Washington. Distant from Washington, D.C. How long? Washington, D.C. To D.C. No. State. To Florida. State. How long? To Florida. Is the distance? Florida. 
keys. Let me see something. Secrets, okay. Uh, yeah. Three, comma, two, eight, five point six miles. Give me a second. Okay. I'm not so good writing. <laughs> I'm not so fast. How long? Okay, how long is the distance from Washington to Florida Key? It's the same with the number three. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. The distance from... Okay. To, to Florida is... Yeah. Is... Key is... Three thousand three thousand two hundred eighty five point six miles. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. A five point six miles. Yes, that's okay. Okay. And the last one, deepest part of the ocean. Okay. La parte más profunda. Deepest. How? Oh, part of the ocean. You have to, we have to use the, uh, the deep. deepest part of the ocean is called the Challenger Deep. But how we need deep? Right over here. Um, um, how deep is the part of the ocean? We don't o sea, need es como decir more... que tan profundo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like this? How deep is? No, how deep is the part of the ocean? Just with D I I D yes P is the part of the ocean. Yeah. How deep is the part of the ocean? Yeah. Like that? Yes. And then and the and answer is uh one. 36,200 so feet. The deepest part of the ocean yeah. is? Is uh, 36, 36. 36. Yeah. 1,000. 200. 200. Feet. Feet. Like that? Yeah. Let me see. Yes. I That's okay. I don't remember that I put this line. <laughs> I put it. <laughs> and how you did it? With the with my finger. I can keep out. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, and then here are. Okay, we're finished. Okay. Are they okay with the... I, I take a picture. I write. Okay. I need someone who... I can hear you right now. Okay. I have Teacher, trouble we... with my connection right now. How about it? But I can hear you. Don't worry. We're finished, teacher. We can hear you, Marco. Okay, we're going to present right now. Uh, take a picture of your answers, if you want, or no sé cómo quieran leerlas, or you can share. Okay, para que puedan leerlas ustedes. Yes. Okay, very good. All right, we're going to go now. Okay, give me a second. Okay.
Okay, all right, very good. Welcome back. Welcome back. So uh, let's let's take one question at a time. Eh, no sé cómo lo podemos hacer. Yo creo que son eh, hicimos cuatro grupos. Son yeah. eh, cuatro preguntas. Cinco preguntas. Okay, so una cada uno. <laughs> All right. Group number one. It was uh, Betsy and Diego. Okay. Uh, tallest yeah. building. Tallest okay. building. Now, uh, lo que van a hacer ustedes, uno de ustedes, es escribir la, la pregunta en el chat y la respuesta. Okay. Y los Let otros grupos, deja ver, ok, el otro grupo, para que tal vez lo pueden hacer ahí. Eh, el otro Chat. grupo fue el grupo de Marcos. Eh, pueden hacer la número dos, tallest person. Eh, William. How high y, is the tallest? William y Verónica pueden hacer distance from New York to California. Okay. Y Gladys y Alexis, ¿verdad? Gladys, no me acuerdo con quién. Eh, perdón, eh, 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 sí, Gladys, José Luis, José Luis y Gladys. You can do distance from Washington from the Florida Keys. From Washington to the Florida Keys. And then, uh, el que quiera puede hacer deepest part of the ocean. Okay. So, le voy a dar un minuto para que puedan escribir ahí su, su respuesta. Y después vamos a leer. Voy a compartir la pantalla de... Y vamos a leer de ahí. En el chat, eh, asegúrense que le están da, eh, se lo están enviando a todos. Ok. Diego. Okay, yes. I am, I am writing. Okay, let me share my computer. And the word is work. Uh -oh. Okay. Of Dubai. Okay. I, I I I copy in on the Oh this is the How high is it? Okay. It was on the chat. Yes. Mm -hmm. I copy on the chat. <laughs> okay. Okay, very good. So a uh, tallest building okay the question will be how high is the tallest building in the world okay yes or you can say how tall is the tallest building in the world yes and what is the answer diego the answer is the tallest building in the world is burk khalifa of dubai it is 80, 88 832 meters high very good Mm -hmm. Excellent. Ok, so, eh, Betsy, lo que tú puedes hacer la última, the deepest part of the ocean, Betsy. So, write it there. Ok, let's go to number two. Number two, tallest person ever. This was uh, Marco and, and uh, I forgot. Eh. <laughs> ¿Quién estaba contigo, Marco? Ok. All right, uh, the, how tall is the tallest person in the history or ever? Robert Pershing Wadlow 
was found to be 2.72 meters. Que quiere decir 8 feet and 11 inches tall. Wow. Extremely tall. Very good. Uh, number three is the distance from New York to California. ¿Quién le tocaba esa? We, oh, eh, William and me. Ok, no, no la escribieron en el chat. Si querés me la, me la puedes decir, yo la escribo. Yeah, eh, um, how far is California from New York? Very good. How far is California from New York? And the answer that you have is it is. <laughs> How many miles? Uh, is uh, I don't know. Five thousand uh, nine hundred uh, nineteen point nine ninety one. Okay, so one thousand nine hundred nineteen. Oh, three thousand. Okay, miles. ¿Cuánto sería en kilómetros? I don't know. <laughs> don't worry. No problem. I, I'm sorry. It's uh -huh. kilómetros. Long. Uh -huh. Oh, kilómetros. Okay. Entonces, ese dato que me diste es los kilómetros. Okay. Okay. Very good. And the next question was, how far was Washington State from the Florida Keys? Washington State está allá por Alaska, en la esquina. Antes, por, por, eh, bank, British Columbia, esa parte de, de Canadá que se llama British Columbia. And the Florida Keys are all the way in the other corner. Están a 90 millas de Cuba. Los Keys, Florida Keys. Mm. So that's a long distance. How far is that distance? It's about 3,287 miles. Yes, very good, Jose. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent, good job. And then the last question. Uh, what is the deepest part of the ocean? Bessie, do you have it? Yeah, the deepest, let me see. I have right away here. I can see the answer. The deepest part of the ocean. Yeah. I can see the information we okay. have. Okay. Uh, Diego, I do you remember? Diego, help me. Do you remember? Yeah. Yes, the deepest. Yeah. Yes. Let me see. I'm. I'm. The how deep is the part of the ocean? Yeah. Okay. The deepest the part of the ocean is. 3,600, 36,000, 2,000 feet. 200 feet, yes. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Right. No problem. Thank you for helping. Okay. Yeah, no problem. How deep, so, como hiciera la pregunta, si pueden ver allí en el chat, yo hiciera la pregunta de esta forma. How deep is the deepest part of the ocean? Okay. Um, okay. Now, yo sé que se repita deep y se repite con deep, deep es, uh -huh. está bien, porque estoy hablando de superlativo. Uh -huh. Ok. Deep is part of the ocean. Ok. Eh, ¿Cuál era? So, let me do a Google search, porque estoy curioso saber cuál es. Uh -huh. Deep is part of the ocean. There are many parts la cosa I find, de la Mariana. Yo pensé I find que another. The Challenger. Challenger Deep. Es yeah, el que abi Diego. The Abismo Challenger. Mm -hmm. iPhone, let me see. Aquí dice 36. The Challenger 000. Deep. 
36,200 feet. Yes. Y, ok, quiero ver Mariana Trench. ¿Nunca han escuchado eso? Mm, no. What is this? Mariana Trench is, uh, it's in, yes. by Japan. Japan. It's mm. over there by Japan. Uh, tendría que comparar, aquí dice, uh, it's about 200 kilometers. Oh, no, no. It's uh, no. 2,000. 2,550 kilometers. Entonces, ¿cuál es? I have another one. Uh -huh. The Abismo. Yes. The Abismo Challenger. Abismo Challenger. This part, it says, aquí abajo dice, uh, the Challenger Deep. No, pero es lo mismo. The Challenger Deep. Solo que es ah, okay. otro nombre. The Challenger okay. Deep or the Abismo Challenger is the deepest known point on the Earth's sea-based hydrosphere with a depth of uh, 1,902 to 10,929 10, meters. Pero el Mariana Trench, the sea cuánto? Ah, 2,000 yeah. meters. Yeah. Ah, pues sí, es, this, this is deeper. Okay. This, this is deeper, deep challenger. Imagines. Y puede que haya todavía algo más, más profundo, ¿verdad? que todavía no sea de All right. Okay. Very good. So the question, we're going to finish with the video. Let me show you the video that we have. And let's finish with that video. The video is 5.2, and I'm sorry, 4.12, the video. Questions with how, questions with how. Questions with how, how. As we always ask you to do, please write your responses in a video. As soon as we listen to the explanation, we'll ask you some questions, get ready. Questions with how. How far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about 2,000 kilometers, 1,200 miles. How big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers, 250 square miles. How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high, 12,250 feet. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep, 6,250 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long, 3,710 miles. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It gets up to about 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. How cold is it in the winter? It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We will use how to ask different types of questions. We will use how this way. How plus adjective plus a verb plus complement plus question mark. Let's go back to the chart. Notice how and right after it we have far. Far is an adjective. How big? Big is an adjective. And because we use adjectives, we must use the verb be properly conjugated. How long is the Mississippi River? How is the question word? Long is the adjective. Is is the verb be in singular. Mississippi River is the complement. Ready to answer? Here we go. How big is your country? How tall are you? Which one is the longest river in your country? How long is it? As we always ask you to do, please write your responses in our discussion box. Okay, very good. 
So you can, uh, you can continue, finish the section four, and tomorrow we'll do section five, okay? So today, okay. que lo que vimos, measurements and distance. How far, yes. how high, how big, okay? Now, eh, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre preguntar? What is the tallest building? And how tall is the tallest building? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? How tall is when we need to talk about the the distance in specific yes. and we with what and wh uh -huh. question uh, is for information yes very good so for example si yo pregunto what is the tallest building in the world solo estoy preguntando el nombre pero si yo pregunto how tall entonces estoy preguntando un número. Estoy buscando un, un número específico. Okay? Very good. All right. We'll see you tomorrow then, okay? Okay. You. See you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good okay. night. Bye.